King Sejong the Great, servant to the people and protector of the Choson dynasty. Your glorious vision of prosperity and overwhelming benevolence towards the common man made you the most beloved of all Korean kings. From the earliest days of your reign, the efforts you took to provide a fair and just society for all was surpassed only by the technological advances spurred onwards by your unquenched thirst for knowledge. Guided by your wisdom, the scholars of the Jade Hall developed Korea's first written language, Hangul, bringing the light of literature and science to the masses after centuries of literary darkness. Honorable Sejong, once more the people look to you for guidance. Will you rise to the occasion, bringing harmony and understanding to the people? Can you once again advance your kingdom's standing to such wondrous heights? Can you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining. Uh, this is my first YouTube video of a Civilization V series, which will also be the last and only Civilization V series I do, because in a couple weeks, Civ VI is coming out, and I will surely do a video of that if I get enough uh you know enough viewers on this one that i feel like doing it more so i'm going on king difficulty against uh eight ai on a continent map i am trying to go for a science victory with just a space race and i've never done korea before i've heard good things about them through science victories so we are going to give it a shot so, perfect spot, starting spot. <laughs> We're on a hill uh, with plains and uh, grassland, rather. So, we're going to get uh, dew production right off the bat in our city. And we have some cotton and stone nearby and some furs. And we got a coastline. Hopefully, this is an ocean access. Uh, looks like an awesome spot for our first city. We even got some river here. So we are going to settle our first city here, and here we go, we are off. Um, I don't know, I guess I'm going to send my warriors up this way. Check this area out, and choose production. We are going to go for a scout, find out which is what's around us. And we need to pick a, a research, technology research. So we are going to, uh, we're going to go pottery first because I really want to do religion this time. I didn't do it on the last game I played and I think that was a mistake. So we're going to try rush religion and see how that goes. Okay, and we're just shooting through the turns here while our warriors go and explore. Uh, lots of barren desert out here, not much worthwhile. So this river is pretty nice. Let's see what else is up here. And Mount Kilimanjaro, alright. So if we work this, we get three food and two culture and free promotion. So this is a, seems like a decent spot for a city so far. Um, maybe drop one here or right on the cattle. They're a little close, but let's see what else is around. Let's go up this hill. Next turn we'll have our scout, so we'll bring our scout out on this hill. This looks like it's going to be a peninsula, so probably going to have to expand up and away here. Um, let's go over here. And for our city, our next production... Uh, almost want to go for another scout. We're gonna go monument. 
I'm gonna go for Monument. Okay, the city has grown, and let's see, make sure. Oh, we got working good tiles here. We got there and that, that looks good. <laughs> okay, and then Scout, come down here, and Barbarian Camp. Alright. So that's going to be annoying. Uh, let's go on this hill. Okay, so we got marsh over here. Tundra, so I'm on the north side. So I don't have to worry about anyone in that area. Uh, this barbarian camp sucks. Oh. Let's see if I can sneak past them. Got a lot of jungle down there, which is good for science. So I might consider going down there. We got a coastline here. This looks like this wraps around. So I th think uh, we're going to be limited as far as what we can do that way. But this seems like a decent area for a city somewhere in there. Shall the clay say to him okay. that fashion of it? What makest thou? So we got pottery. Now we can build a granary, which gets more food, which means more growth, and more growth, more science, and and on and on until we get into space. So we'll continue and we will send our scout past barbarians uh, and our warrior. Coastline. Right. Uh, so let's bring him back this way. And we'll see what's out in this area here. And research next. We're gonna just rush right through. We're go for uh, Stonehenge probably. should we go for this? You know what? Let's go for this because Great Library is super important if we're going for a science victory. Okay, and the scout will come down here. So we actually have... Oh, here we go. We got some ruins to check out. There is actually quite a bit of land down here. It's a little weird the way it snakes through, but we'll see if it works out. Got a lake. It's interesting. And let's go with the shrine. Go with the shrine first, then we'll hit worker. Into the ruins, and we get 80 gold. Sweet. And I'm just gonna set up. For the next one. So we're gonna do a calendar after writing and then probably let's see. We have some foxes, so we can go trapping. We can go masonry or we can go calendar. Um, which I think Yeah, we're doing calendar next anyway. Uh yeah, let's go animal husbandry. Oh, damn it. oh, I messed that up. Let's see. So we got writing, we got calendar, we got animal husbandry. We'll probably go trapping after that. Alright. Policy, we are going to go tradition. And. Because uh, we're not really in a rush to expand, because I haven't seen anyone yet around us. So we're going to go tradition, get that good early growth going on, get that head start that way. Don't worry about city building later. Um, so we'll come down here, it looks like we're going to reach... Okay, we have a city-state. 
Um, we're the first ones they've met, so no one's really nearby. Warrior's gonna cross. Still no sieve that way, which is good. They're not too close. Um, this I'd like to check out, but we need sailing for that, so we're not gonna worry about that just yet. And hit the stern. These guys, we will. Oh, here. So actually, this down here is okay for a city, I would say. With the jungle. Well, science victory. Probably would have been terrible. I want to see what's over here. Uh, we got some more cotton over here and some here. Ends up being horses down here. That's definitely a good spot to go. Um, it's looking like we're going to end up with a city up here. It's awesome to work Kilimanjaro there. And the barbarians are on the move. It actually wraps around quite a bit. I hope this empties out to the ocean. It's not just like an inland sea. It's closed in. Uh, we'll wrap around like that and then hit the next turn. In time. Definitely want this because two turns we're going to be building that great library, so we're going to grab that, get that extra production for the world wonders. And come back up to the city. We're going to blast them with some arrows and send our warrior to finish them off. So this one will be done two turns, after this turn it will be one turn. Smallest army. So I guess it is kind of good that we want to be here. And uh, we finished with our writing. <clears throat> so now we can go for that great library and another city state, Panama. So we get some gold from those guys. So this is interesting here. Why end up chopping the city right here? Is 
Then again, I can go this coast and run the road up. I have a city on each coast. It's not a terrible idea either, I guess. So we're going to run this warrior back out. <coughs> This might even wrap around here. If so, then that city's definitely on that coast. Because um, this one would just be a waste. Uh, so this warrior is going to go check out this camp. Our other exploring warrior is sent up this way. And choose production. We're going to go with the Great Library. <coughs> That looks like it wraps around. I hope it doesn't, but it looks like it does. Oh, here we go. So we have Montezuma Aztecs nearby. Alright, so let's see. Can I trade NPCs? Okay, let's find out where this guy is. Okay, he's out over there. So definitely this is <clears throat> this is all attached here. This is just an inland sea, so this is a waste. Um that other city's definitely gonna come out that way. This guy's camp's just pumping out of barbarians. Okay, good, we got some copper here. I'd like to see what's up here. Even if we settle here, that's still... I think that's still enough tiles away. We settle here just to be on the safe side. Then you get the hill bonus here. I don't know. fortify these guys. And maybe that'll block the barbarians from coming up to the me. Right, so we got we can get a pantheon and a culture for our social policy. So let's get our policy first. So, oligarchy. This is what we're shooting for right there. <clears throat> and found a pantheon, so let's see. We will go 10% faster growth rate. go with this but I really don't run that many cities so I think we have an overall 10% faster growth rate be better off with that so let's go for fertility rights and wow he's got a lot of stuff down there okay and Here's another barbarian camp. They don't attack the scout. And next to Yep, he came out after me. <clears throat> but I won that, and I'll probably win this. This sucks.
not win that battle. Uh, we're gonna sneak over here. Get out of there. Um. Yeah. So. This tile actually isn't terrible. I think that's where I'm gonna go. City once we play this barbarian camp out, I'll drop the city so down there. Just to number our days so, so we have the calendar done now. Um, we can build Stonehenge. <laughs> That's not on a priority list at all. Um, but we can do the plantations once we get a worker. Uh, kind of stuck. I hope this doesn't screw me over. Kind of want to heal that scout for a bit. On our warriors over here, so actually, this seems like a pretty good spot. We got a lake here, we got Mount Kilimanjaro here, we got some copper there. Seems like a good spot. Again, so we're gonna go lock that in. But we want extra production. Oops. See, so that's not even making a difference. We're still only nine turns. I wonder why that is, why that's not changing. Three, six, seven. Oh, okay. Okay. That makes sense. Let me buy this tile and Throw him there, and that'll knock that from nine turns to eight turns. But we're on stagnation, so we're not have any growth. We go here. We'll have another citizen. Thirteen turns. It's not even going to matter by then. Um, so let's go with that. Try to pump this out quicker. See, can I take oh. that barbarian left? Oh, well, let's go for it anyway. Maybe I'll get the ball scene try to attach, attack me. So we got a promotion, so that's good. So we're gonna go rough terrain and then heal. And then we're gonna bring this guy back. So this is under attack by barbarians, but I can't really do anything about that right now. I'm gonna come over here and fight these guys. Let's level these warriors up a bit. Might be able to get him to the next level. Steel healing, he's pretty good. Let's bring him back out this way. Explore further out. 
Get an idea to lay the land out here. Thou shalt not muzzle the ox when he treadeth out the corn. Okay, so horses will be on the map now. Um, and there aren't any out there. Horses here. Uh, got cows. Got horses. Oh, tons of horses here. So we'll have to be their friend if you want to get. Uh, horse military units, uh, mounted cavalry. cavalry. <laughs> uh, then these guys will go with a uh, rough train pushing and heal them. Have them go defensive. That's a wash. So I won't bother with that. Have this. This guy keep going. There's more warriors, but they can't get to me this turn, so that's fine. It's close. Good thing I healed with them guys. Oh wow, they did get to me. Okay, I gotta try to get away from them. Which I don't know how I can go. to lose them. Maybe they'll interest. And then fight again here. I'll just leave him. Then he'll heal between turns and if he wants to attack me he can die. That's fine. Chase my scout down. And stuff. Oh, jeez. Um, trouble here. Oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go for survival with him. Gonna run him down here and hope oh, get to me. Oh, I got a stalemate here. Got a decisive victory, and we'll be on a hill. Tough call, but let's do it. At least clear this camp out. Get these guys from not spawning anymore. We got 16 gold, and up here they left. So that's fine, we'll just wait another turn. Got three more turns on our library. Okay, made out okay on that attack. Um, see, they can still get to me there. They go one attack. Attack. in trouble. Alright, we'll heal those guys. Uh, these guys will run up here and heal. So they'll heal five and they'll heal for their uh, defensive. So they should be okay against some warriors if they're the only ones that come for them. This will be done in two turns and we can start some real stuff going on. Alright, warrior made it. Mm, almost time to just do that. Same time if I do this and that. Might be better off. They might not attack then. Is it so disadvantaged? Now I got two, so we gotta get this guy out of here. Down here, fortify. 
Um, this warrior here we're gonna bring down into the city. We can make it past some guys. And Yes, yeah, sorry, got the great library. Were all the relics of the ancient saints full of true virtue, and that without delusion or imposture are preserved and proposed. Okay. Even and trapping done. And a free deck. You're on a roll. Um, so actually, for my free tech, it's got trapping, I'm gonna go right for archery, and then, let's, um, It's a hard call, and I will wait until next video, where I hope you all tune in, and we will pick up from this spot. Alright, so, till next time, take care.